Hey, how you doing? I'm Michael Bellino. I'm here today to show you how to disassemble an engine to remove the camshaft to, in order to measure the camshaft bearings. step is to remove the push rods and their top. Next step is to remove this front plate here, revealing the flywheel for the camshaft. Right here you see the wheel for at the end of the camshaft. The next step is to remove this, because when you pull this out, Please hit the end of this and you can't pull the camshaft all the way out. Next up is to take the governor off. Take off these three side plates. That will that will reveal the inner workings of the camshaft. Now that all your components have been removed, now you can remove the crank pinch out. And voila, your camshaft has been removed. <coughs> removed your camshaft, now you can measure the bearing diameter of your bearings for the camshaft. What you have to do when you measure these, you have to measure front, which is the front end of the, of the bearing, and 90 degrees of the front. So your regular front would be here to here, your 90 degrees would be here to here. Same thing for the back. The back is the back end of the bearing, same thing. Normal, 90 degrees. Do is you take your snap gauge, measure the front, lock that down in place, and you take your micrometer and you measure the gap that it that it measures. So 
that bearing's diameter is 2.530 thousandths of an inch. So it is 2.530. Now you do the same thing for the 90 degrees of the front. Up and down. Lock that down. Take your micrometer. This one has a measurement of 2.551. So you can see those measurements are pretty far out from each other. That means that these bearings are shot and they need to be replaced. Once you have done all the tests and measurements that you need to do, it is now time to reassemble the engine block. The optimum way to reassemble your engine block is to take the order that you took it apart and reverse it. So that means that we're going to start by putting the camshaft back in. Back into where it needs to be, reinstall the bolt on the bracket. Once your camshaft is reinstalled, you can now reinstall the side plate. Now you need to reinstall the front plate. Now your next step is to reinstall the governor. Your next step is to reinstall the push rods and the rod mount.
Now your next step will be to reinstall the rod knot. And there you have it. That is the complete process on how to disassemble the block, remove the camshaft so you can measure bearings on the camshaft itself, and the complete procedure to, to reinstall the engine block. I've been Michael Valino. Thank you for watching.